steamroller MMA. This man is a boxer. Official weight 39 kilograms even. Standing five feet 11 inches tall. Tonight we're in the all black industry fight shorts. He has had one fight and fight of Molly. Please welcome Sam Blythe. We've got John Darge versus Sam Blythe. Mark, uh, you know a bit, fair bit about Sam Blythe, I believe. Sam Blythe uh, has a reputation as a very, very good boxer. Lost his first fight that he took on short notice with no wrestling ability. So he's also got uh, a very big boxing team around him and he's training with Team Steam Roller, which is Stephen Kennedy. Beautiful punches already. John Darch, I believe, has got a Taekwondo background. He's got the swastika on his chest, so I think a, a fight with Cain Velasquez would be interesting if he moves up in the It's easy to tell the difference between these fighters with that green mohawk on Darch. Well, obviously Blythe doesn't want to pop those leg kicks. He doesn't know a lot about the ground game, I assume, so... He's got to be careful here not to be taken down. Oh, and this one... Uh, here we go. This is definitely going to favour John Darch. There's yeah, Sam Blythe in trouble here. Interesting thing about Blythe as well, that uh, Stephen Kennedy is in the corner and he's the, in the main event. You don't normally see that. That's the support from his teammate. Yeah, they've got Ron Carr in the corner, who's a very good Muay Thai coach as well. So I wonder how they've done their homework with the wrestling, because this is when you hope they have. John Darch has got full mount here, so Sam Blythe, he might be a fish out of water unless he's been working on his wrestling game and training. John Darch doesn't have to be a rocket scientist to know that you don't want to let a boxer with the ability of Sam Blythe team up on you. Yeah, he's got full side control, so, you know. John Darch has come in here with a very, very simple but smart strategy. He's employed it straight away, and Sam White is in a foreign territory. He wants to go on his feet, unloading his hands. Yeah, he's got to find a way to get this uh, on, the, on the ground very quickly, otherwise it's going to be over within the next minute. John Darch just softening him up here, trying to get a good position, unloading a few little uh, powder puff punches, really just to distract him while he goes to position. Yeah, he's looking, he's looking for that choke. Or might be looking for the arm. Yeah, he's got looking for the arm. And rear naked choke. Well done, he's got it out. Sam Blythe back to his feet. Oh, and he's hurt him. John Darch is hurt. He's got to hold on. He's bleeding. John Darch is taking What a great comeback He's given up. by John Sam Blythe. Look up at that. Sam Blythe is putting the finishing touches. It's all over. The clock is all in the Wow. Time. What a beautiful turnaround by Sam Blythe. Where Dad lost that fight is when he went for that rear naked choke. He went too far. He fell over the top. Blythe got where he wanted the fight to be, which is on the feet. He cracked him with that beautiful right, hurt him. Took it across the cage, to the ground, and finished it off beautifully, where his corner threw in the towel. What a great comeback, because I thought he was in deep trouble, because he looked like a fish out of water on the ground, Mark. Ladies and with Steve Steamroller Kennedy in the main event of Breaking Rights 4 who will be fighting for the Chaos Entertainment middleweight title and he's fighting Jesse JT Money former UFC fighter so how are you feeling